Phil from Papari.org talking about the Hurson 8 JT5988HP tri band slash dual band radio. It's a new radio from a new manufacturer and supplied by a new vendor. And the vendor currently on Amazon is HRG. That will be named Hersonate pretty soon. And I want to take you through some of the steps on setting up the radio for using the programming cable that is supplied with many of these radios. And it may not be as easy as it seems, so I just want to take you through some of the steps. First thing you'll see here is this application, JT598W. That is one that is provided by Hersonate through the Amazon website. When you run the application and try to connect the radio to your device, your PC, this is the tool that you're provided with to do that. So obviously the first thing you would do is plug in the USB cable into the side of the JT5988HP and then plug that into the PC in this case and then turn the radio on. That would sound like the end of the game but it's not really. You'll see when you first run this application that uh, the initial thing you'll do is under setup you would click communication port and here's where you're telling this application which COM port on the PC you want to use. By default, when you run this, the first thing that pops up is this screen with COM1 selected and everything else gray on the screen, including COM1. You can't pick anything, you can't choose anything, uh, and you're kind of stuck at that point because the radio is not talking to the PC, nor vice versa. So what I want to do is take you through the steps to actually get this thing to look like this, where you see, in my case, COM3 lit up ready to go and push OK and have it actually connect back through to the phone at this point. First thing is in the uh, app in the disc provided by the vendor there will be a small little quarter CD type of disc you'll find this set of applications and screens. It's very Chinese so as you'll see there's no initial startup it doesn't try to run anything it doesn't try to set up anything and it's not really clear where you start at. You'll see that this my copy file right here is actually mine. Again, lots of Chinese. So this little apparently readme file, when you try to run it and bring it up, tells you you can't actually interpret that file and you want to create another file and it just doesn't know how to handle these kind of things. So I'm going to close that back out again. First step, if you want to see what's inside this file, rename it to something else, like in my case, mycopy.txt, and then open it up with Notepad or an editor of your choice. You'll see when you run this that there's not really too much inside this file either. These are a bunch of links to other manufacturer sites, and <laughs> unfortunately a lot of these are dead links as well. For example, if you try running this, opening up this PYT link right here, it'll come back with a 404. Not a lot there. Okay, so don't worry about that. What you want to do then is go down under this USB, this will be a USB driver folder. And when you go through and set the COM port on your PC, it won't be able to recognize this either because again it's in Chinese and has a problem interpreting this and trying to open it up and it won't find any actual drivers down underneath there. You'll find underneath here in a second that there's an executable file that we're going to run and I'm just going to double click on USB, take you down under there, go down under CH340, down under here, and that's what you want to run, CH341SCR.exe. Unfortunately, you can't just click on CH341SCR.exe because when it tries to run itself, it will end up with more errors trying to interpret the Chinese text, you see right there with the USB question marks, and it can't find itself on the disk. So here's how you handle that part of it. I'm sorry, you'll also get this error that pops up telling you you can't find it and how to reinstall it, and it doesn't work. This, this won't do anything at all. So I'm closing that up. Click on the USB folder that it can't interpret. <clears throat> right click on CH340, copy this folder to somewhere else on your hard drive. You can just place it right up on the I have copied this to a C drive, so place it right up on top of there. 
There's my copy of that CH340 folder. This CH340 folder is now in a path that you can understand on the Windows PC. And now when you click on CH340 and then click on this application, it'll actually run. I'm going to say yes to this. Let's let it run. It'll show you what it's going to try to do. It's going to st install the folder. I'm sorry, install this uh, driver. And I've already installed it, but I'll go ahead and run it again anyway just to show you what it looks like. And give it a second. Now what you'll find is, after the driver is successfully installed, on your Windows Device Manager, you'll now see this USB Serial 340 COM file pop up. And if you double click on that, you'll be able to see that. This is actually your working driver, which lets you get back through to the phone. Okay. This one will be known, known as COM3. So again, if you go back over into, I'm closing all these windows, go back over to my original JT598W application, click on Setup, and on Communication Port, now you'll actually see the COM port that's been set up for you highlighted, and you can say OK, and begin to interact with the device.